Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you a different lesson. Uh, this is actually an IT related topic. But don't worry about it because uh, I'm very confident that uh, you could follow uh, these steps or some steps that I will give to you so that we can come up with a desired result. Okay? So to begin with, uh, right now as you can see on screen, I'm using a Microsoft uh, Windows platform. Uh, not the usual operating system that I am using which is the Linux. So today, uh, I'm using a Microsoft platform. It is because that uh, most, most of the users are using Microsoft or Windows which is the product of Microsoft so that uh, most of you could follow or we will have uh, almost the same uh, display or uh, operating systems okay so since you are using a Microsoft you have this uh, start button here then when you click that and click the expand to find for the application that we're going to use and for today's application that we are going to learn is the Microsoft Word so in my case I have here the Microsoft Word 2016 so if you can find it here because these are the recent uh, applications that you're using you can type from here okay you can just type from here or when you click this one and type automatically as you can see the cursor here you can find for let's say MS Word or Word so once it's there then you can click that so either way either you click from here and you find it from here if it's already here or there or the other way around once you click this you type word and then so it's there then you choose it you click that and it will load the Microsoft Word application which is part of the MS Office package okay so um let's begin with a blank document so you choose that and then from here what we're going to do right now is uh, to create a dynamic template so this dynamic template is applicable to whatever kind of document or whatever types of document that you want to do um just to have a very specific example uh, let's say for example you're going to create a letter and you want to make it uh, dynamic meaning to say um, the template is already kaya nga tinawag natin na template because it's already fixed but we want to change uh, some of the contents from there let's say nagbabago lang yung mga names yung address etc the same thing when you create a memo so as we went to some uh, offices be it uh, state universities and colleges, private companies or schools. So most of the time, even in any organization, most of the time they have the, the memo or memos that are coming to, that are uh, going around to their organization. So, I, I observed that they have already a, a template and uh, the secretary is just changing the, the not the contents but the but the some information like uh, the who was who is the recipient who's the sender and uh, what would be the date and the address of the recipient etc so those are the things that we want to make uh, to make flexible or to make it uh, dynamic okay Let's say, for example, we have uh, this kind of letter. Let's say, Dear X. And then, How are you today? And then, whatever other details that you want to include from this uh, letter of the... I mean, the body of the letter. And then, let's say, from here, Sincerely, Sincerely, Why? something like that so why did I use this dear X and Y uh, it just uh, emphasized that 
these are variables. This may vary. So, that's why we call it dynamic. So, how are we going to to do that? Kasi, alimbawa, yung mga secretaries natin, or, or tayo mismo, mga secretary, and we want to, we don't want to, from time to time, to edit the, to edit the whole template, and we just want to, to change the, or to replace or to change for whatever purposes the those information that are that may vary okay so the solution for that is to create to create a template i mean this is a temp this is the template and you are going to create a something like a form where you're going to input those information that may change so in order to do that, if you have heard already uh, about macro, and I know most of you already know um, the, micro, the use of Microsoft Word, kahit naman yung mga estudyante, yung mga bata pa, kahit yung elementary, marurulong na sila gumamit ng uh, Microsoft Office. Especially this one, MS Word, kasi ito yung ginagamit natin sa paggawa ng mga projects, pag, ano, so, lalo na sa mga opisina sa paggawa ng ating mga letters, documents, and memos. Okay? So, as you can see from here, uh, we have this menus, yung files insert up to this view. So, there are still available uh, menus that are not uh, being displayed there. Kasi ito naman yung most of the time ginagamit natin. Okay? But this time around, uh, you click this file menu, and as you can see you have here the sidebar menu okay and one of those ay itong options so you click from this one yung options uh, menu and then from here so may mag pop up na ganito uh, you have another sidebars here under that options menu so from here you have the general up to trust center so from Somewhere in the middle, or somewhere at the middle, you will find this one, the customized ribbon. So, when you click this, okay, you will find these things. So, you look for the developer menu, this one. So, as you can see from here, it is still unchecked. So, you check that one and click OK. Okay? So, now, uh, here's the changes. You can see from here that after the view, you have now the developer menu. So from this menu, you when you click that, you will find this uh, options or thing. So you can see there the macro. So don't uh, get intimidated intimidated with that. Uh, for as long as it is there and uh, you you know how to follow these simple steps, or as you could follow this uh, procedure, then you will be successful in doing this, okay? It just happened that that is the term for the, the developer menu. Uh, but it doesn't need to be to finish a course or uh, to be an IT expert for you to be able to do this, okay? So, from here, um, you, can, you can see these things, these icons. So, these are actually form, uh, form fields or form controls, okay? So these are the available form controls or you could also click the arrow to to see other options. So from here we have the active X controls. So uh, you can choose this uh, text box. But before that, let's click for let's uh, type in first here. Let's say who will be the recipient of this of the template of the letter of this kind of uh, template. And then who will be the sender of this letter or let's say memo or whatever so actually if you know already this you can uh, it is already user defined you can design for whatever information that you want that you want to make uh, dynamic okay so from here position your cursor here and then uh, you click again this arrow down button to see the other options and from here you click this text box and then once you choose that finally you have here that you have there the text box okay 
So this is a form control or active X control. So this will be your box to text box where you're going to input the detail for the information for the recipient. Okay. So when you uncheck the design, when you click again the design mode, so indeed it's no longer design mode. You can input already information there. Okay. Going back here, in order for us to be to uh, edit this uh, control, you click the design mode. Okay. So from the design mode, you can you can click somewhere here after the sender so that so as you can see there is no already ActiveX controls here or options for the form controls you click again the developer because you are in the whole at the home position so click the developer okay so it's already design mode so you can already insert from here so you can choose add another object because if you are not going to click this let's say that's the, uh, so it's not on the design mode when you click this one okay uh, you cannot modify the properties or the other uh, features okay so when you click this one and then we are going to insert the another text box for the sender okay so as you can see from here you cannot edit the properties of this so Anong ibig sabihin ko ng properties? Ito nandito lang siya. We have the option here or the button here. So, when you click this one for the properties, the first thing that you will see is the name. So, I mean to say, that is the name of this object. Okay? And, uh, as you scroll down, you have here the text for the text box. This one. So, that is the default value. So, if you want it to, to be empty, at first so you just choose this or you just select this or you just uh, highlight this and then delete the content so you don't have there the initial uh, the initial inputs okay so the same thing and going back here uh, let's choose this again and going back here you have the name so that is the default name the text box one so instead of that you click the name and you change this and if we are dealing with a text box as one of the form or active x controls although uh, it's not uh, necessary i mean it's not uh, it's optional or it's not mandatory but it's a best practice to have a naming convention so since this is a text box we will use txt as our prefix and then since we will expect an input for the recipient so txt recipient something like this okay uh, when you after you type that when you go back here you will not see the changes unlike this one the text when you delete that uh, it becomes empty okay but uh, later on you will realize you will know if what's the use of naming this okay so again <coughs> going back here when we when we uh, Again, we will move here, or we will choose the other, the other, uh, the other object or active X control. So, as you can see from the left side, which is the properties of this uh, object, uh, let's try to close this first. When you choose this, and you click the properties, so you will see from here all the properties of this specific and particular object. Pag kinlik naman natin itong isa, see? So, it changes. Meaning to say, this, this properties belong to this. Okay? So, para dito sa text box na ito, itong properties na ito. So, this is a different text box. That's why, makikita ninyo, different properties. So, we will also name this, instead of text box 2, we will change that into txt, small txt as our prefix, and then sender. Okay, so we capitalize the first letter of that because to emphasize, so and uh, kasi pag vowel yan, alimbawa, txt, e, something, you know, if it's small e, it's difficult to read. So that's the purpose of that. So capitalize, txt sender. Okay, now we have these uh, objects and finally, what we need 
is a button or a command button okay so you click this one because we are already on the design mode and you choose the command button yeah. so here there you can find it so uh, don't be confused with this two the caption and the command button item name the caption is just for labeling purposes even if you change this let's say uh, we change this into uh, generate a letter okay even if we change that the name is still command button one okay so we will also change this one into let's say since that is a command button some developers or some people are using btn and uh, most uh, developers use cmd so cmd and then let's say generate meaning to say we're using command button and then the, the generate uh, a short but descriptive uh, name of this button so that uh, for us to easily know if what's the purpose of this button okay now we have already uh, this uh, things Kung halimbawa, ganito lang naman kasimple ang gagawin natin, uh, we will close this first. So, kung ganito lang naman kasimple ang gagawin natin, and then, that's enough. So, let's say, this is your final result that you are that you expect, the final output that you expect. So, ganun lang siya. Now, <coughs> let's try to uh, move to the actual output. <coughs> Uncheck, I mean, unselect the design mode. So, you can already try to type in from here. <coughs> Let's say uh, Juan <coughs> and uh, or Maria and Juan. Okay? Juan is the sender. But when you click the generate a letter, so, wala nangyari. Nothing happens because <coughs> wala pa tayong ginagawa. So, nag-design pa lang tayo that's why we cannot expect any anything that may happen or anything that will be uh, that will be that will be executed or that will be that will give us output okay so let's go back to the design mode okay. from here uh, let's test or let's try if these things or if this value could really be fetched or get uh, could really be uh, generated okay so since we are already again on the design mode just double click the generate a letter and as you can see meron na siya automatic na nakasulat na private sub cmd generate click and sub so because uh, this is procedural between pag click mo yung button na yun automatic dito pumupunta ngayon yung uh, alam ng MS Word na dito siya pupunta so dito tayo maglalagay ng commands kasi ibig sabihin itong CMD generate ito yung user defined natin kanina ibig sabihin tayo yung nag name kanina ng command button object as CMD generate and it is separated by underscore which is followed by the event so in the event that you click the button so pupunta siya dito yun yung ibig sabihin yan okay so, anong gagawin niya when, when that button is being clicked? So, from here, although we are not required to make an indention or tab, but it's a good practice so that you could easily know or see the flow of your logic, the hierarchy of your logic. Meaning to say, this command is under this uh, CMD generate click uh, procedure, okay? Or function. So, there is a built-in command, let's say, msg box. So, that is easy to remember and you don't need to memorize everything because uh, you can also find for those uh, or search for those available commands. The good, but the, uh, more imp the important thing is that you know if when to use these commands, okay? And uh, those are your keywords. Okay? So, msg box for msg box. Let's say, uh, let's let's make a pop-up message uh, like uh, hello, 
Okay, let's try that one. Okay. So, we will close this. Okay, and nandito ulit tayo sa MS Word environment. Kasi yung kanina, uh, parang editor natin. Okay. So, once you unselect the design mode, and then try to so you have here already an initial value try to click the generate a letter so as you can see from here you, you have here a pop-up message that's the use of the msg box okay but this is not our purpose okay let's say for example we want to capture the the information or the recipient from there so again go back to the design mode and double click this one and as you remember uh, this text box if we check the properties of that that is txt recipient so txt recipient this one is txt sender and this one is cmd generate okay so going back here uh, no I will delete this first so going back here so this is txt recipient okay again uh, we will only execute our plan once uh, this command button is being clicked so let's go back from here or let's go back here okay when you click that message box hello so instead of that okay instead of the word hello we can call on the on that value which is txt recipient so even if we did not specify a capital letter R but when you when we click the dot the period when we press that there is an intelligence uh, uh, options okay because if you misspell that even if you click that so no intelligence no automatic uh, options okay so recipient that so we have these options meaning to say uh, this name or sometimes they call variable is existing so, if you click that, one of the properties of the text box, and in this case, we name the first text box, text box as txt recipient, is that text. Okay? So, meaning, whatever the value of this will be, uh, will be displayed in our message box, or to our message box. Okay? again let's try let's close this again and let's go back here close this and then unselect the design mode and if you run that okay or if you click that see you will see here the maria so you have now an idea in mind that uh, if you change the other text box into a into txt sender then you you will have whatever the value there so let's say this one is Maria Clara. So that is dynamic, okay? So as this message pop up, you have the whatever the input from there, okay? So the purpose of that, so we click the design mode again. So our plan is to get these values, these values, these two values, let's say Maria Clara and one, and uh, put it there. Okay, or uh, on this template so instead of X we could change this okay from X we could change that into a label this one okay so we have the label you click that so you have another you so you can just adjust you can just make some adjustments for the design so I will not uh, make it perfect for the design this time because you can just do it uh, after you have the the whole functionality or after the fun after the functionality is already uh, working okay so I'll just add some space here or some spaces okay so you have here the label one and you click the properties and you will find this one so, so since this is a label so we will name this as LBL so LBL and then what we are going to replay I mean capture is the recipient of course so, so recipient 
But remember, this name is for this label, not for that text box. So that is TXT recipient. So right now we have here the volume and Clara. So that text box represents the TXT recipient. Okay, this one is the label or dear LBL recipient. Okay, so meaning to say this is a different object or control or field sometimes we call that field so from here we will also remove the label one uh, caption again don't be confused with the two so this is the name and this is the caption uh, parang sa tao din na uh, limbawa you have the, your name but you have your different characteristics or characters attitudes attributes or let's say color of your skin color of your hair or etc so these are the properties okay this is your your real identity or name okay. so from here we will remove this okay so wala na tayong makikita dyan dear blank because uh, that will uh, become dynamic so we will also remove this y and replace with another label okay another label and uh, we will name this as a so for caption we will remove that and uh, here or we, we can specify a default value let's say uh, from this caption dear y or something like that so that we could see if where is our uh, second label so let's say this one is dear x okay something like this and then uh, so especially LBL LBL uh, sender ah not yet so name and then LBL sender okay now we have that already so the name of this two so this time we will go back to generate a letter so this is the procedure so instead of message box we will pass this into LBL recipient meaning to say that the label that we have just created okay so instead of that text because a label has no uh, text attribute or property and it is caption instead okay then is equal to whatever the value of our text box so wag kayong masyadong maano na oops parang ang hirap niya no parang just remember that this is your text box okay and after you input from there pag kinlik yung button ipapasa dito sa label so that's it kumbaga walang walang masyadong uh, no worries okay so for the sender LBL sender dot caption parang simpleng math lang para lang itong assignment of value di ba parang inassign lang natin yung value na let's say si caption ng label sender ano naman ang ilalagay natin eh di kung sino yung sender dun sa text box na inispecify sender txt sender dot text because wala namang dot caption ng text box dot text naman kung ano yung input okay so now if we go back here okay and we unselect the design mode and try again try again this one pag kinlik natin yung generate a letter bang so that's it pero masyadong malayo yung kama natin kasi naka fix kasi yung text I mean yung label natin di ba medyo malapad kaya masyadong malayo so pwede nyo na lang you click the design mode so pwede nyo na lang i-adjust yung paglaruan so let's say halimbawa dito sa label you click the properties pwede nyo i-adjust na lang yung mga gusto nyo i-adjust dito halimbawa you want this one to be flexible kung ano man yung value you can auto size too okay so when you run that as you can see from here yung kama malapit na doon Tapos yung font niya, halimbawa, palitan natin ng gawin nating bold. Okay? Font is bold. Ganyan. And then, mas malaki halimbawa, larger size, 10. And then, you can change the color or you can underline or whatever uh, that you want to do. Okay. So, and ito naman bumaba kasi maliit yun. Tapos, and then, binold natin. Uh, mas mahaba siya kaya nagbumaba na siya because the word wrap is true so you click this uh, okay LBL recipient or to make it sure you click that one and then click the properties so the word wrap is true you change that into false see 
So, kahit na maliit siya o mahaba siya, nag-auto-size siya, and at the same time, yung word wrap niya, hindi siya bumababa. Kasi pag nakatrue siya, ibig sabihin, pag hindi na siya kasya, bababa siya. Dun sa default or initial width of the, or length of the label. Okay? So, nandyan lang lahat yan kung yung mga other properties if you want to change. Okay? And the same thing, we click the this label and word wrap is to false. Okay? And then, let's say, auto size true. And the font, I don't know, enable true font. You can move here. Font is you can change the font face or font style. And the font size and the font. This is the font face. Okay. This is the font size. Let's say bold also, and then uh, to make it uniform, and then click OK. Uh, that's it. So if we run this and and select the design mode, and if you click that, then that's it. And if you change this, let's say Maria Clara Makiling, and then here is Juan de la Cruz. So, if you generate a letter, see? So, you can just fix the alignment later, okay? But the thing is that if you have the secretary or if you are the secretary or if you are a student and you, if you are uh, repeatedly doing this kind of uh, letter or let's say memo or... So, we call this template actually because hindi naman every time that you make a letter, even a memo, eh, kailangan everything is... Uh, from the scratch and uh, uh, everything is impromptu. So, meron na kasi yan mga, let's say, header, meron ng footer, may logo na. So, ang nagbabago lang talaga sometimes yung content. So, you can do this kind of, this may be helpful if you uh, create this one. So, you just follow those steps and you can explore. And, uh, uh, th I think uh, that's all for now. And, uh, just uh, look at the whole process and follow the instructions and I'm sure you can do it and we still have so many things to do and I'm going to share with you on my next videos so again don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel so that you will you will be notified for any updates and latest videos uploaded